Now, how fast was it to take to get your badge? No, very fast. Like less than like a minute. Yeah, we just went in line and then we got it. It's strange. We're not used to that kind of quick service. You know? Which I was say, AX, well done. We've been waiting for years for this. So we got our freaking badges, no problem. And now everything's gravy. And from what I'm seeing, even people coming late getting badges in two minutes. We love it. Because, and this year alone, we've had so many people stop us and be like, oh my god. Like, just as simple as, like, oh my god, I love your outfit, or I love the characters you're cosplaying. It's like, oh my god, thank you. Like, I love this character too. And, like, it keeps reminding me why I love cosplaying and stuff so much. And it's so much fun. Ask you guys, what are you looking forward to the most this year? Bing. Yeah, I don't know. Hold on, come back to me. Okay, I'll come back to you. People in Hunter x Hunter merchandise. Bing. Buying cool stuff. Buying cool stuff. Free stuff. What? Uh, Free stuff? Oh yeah, I like free stuff as well. <laughs> okay. Have you? Yeah, I remember. It's merchandise, because that's awesome. I ran into my physics teacher. <laughs> what? And she was cosplaying as like a female Hellboy, and she had like full on red body paint. It was crazy. I didn't, she didn't see me, thank goodness, because I still had her class. But I saw her and it was the weirdest experience I've ever had. <laughs> All the way from Brooklyn here in Los Angeles. <laughs> You know, so I'm curious now. So you two have been here before, yes. But this is your first time, yes. and so I'm kind of curious to uh, ask you, how do you describe AX? How, how does it feel? Crazy, fun, interesting. <laughs> uh, a lot of uh, male man service. Is it man service? I guess it's like male male service. Yeah, yeah male man service. A lot of naked guys. Do you, do you guys yeah. don't have naked guys in New York? No, no not, not like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, it's, it's nice to you know not have to be the, the sexual object where the other gender can do it, and they do it very well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been to AX as far back as 1997. No, sorry, 95. Whoa. It was an Anaheim. Whoa. This is so different <laughs> from way back then. It was. It, it's like watching a child grow up. Okay, watch this little tiny little baby, and then you go away for a few years, and you come back and there's a teenager in your house, and you're like, who the hell is this person? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. It's the biggest con we've been to. It's amazing. There are just so many people and so many amazing cosplays. So many good cosplays. Incredible. It was kind of like a culture shock, but in a good way. I am in this guy's booth. This is uh, this is Tim from Cosplay Photographers. They were nice enough to invite me to uh, have a table with them here at AX. Uh, for the people out there, could you tell people what Cosplay Photographers is? Cosplay Photographers is a network of photographers. We have photographers all over the country, you know, doing photo shoots, covering events. Okay, so what's your best experience at AX this year? This booth. This booth is awesome because uh, we've just met so many people. You know, people come by, they come by looking for prints of, uh, you know, our our guests, they come by looking for, they want to talk to us about photography, they want to talk to an agent about his book, um, they want to talk to, you know, Big White Bazooka about his book, it's just, it's, that's what we're about, bringing the cosplay community and cosplay photography community together. So I, t I talked to Boomi here in Tokyo like a few months ago and she's back in the United States. Yay, I'm back! So what do you miss from Japan? What? What do you miss from Japan? Ramen. Ramen? <laughs> shop everywhere like every single I guess like um, street corner and you, the smell is everywhere too so I miss the smell. So since you guys come from Mexico this is not your first time at AX right? Yes. This is the first 
excited for me and I am. Well, first of all, we saw the picture because we're big fans of Trinity Blood. Especially Tora Shibamoto. Yeah. So we started looking into other things about like his art and we found this thing called Trinity Blood. I mean, um, Sister's Crown. Oh, so good. <laughs> So you just bring candy to give away to people here? Yeah, we're luring them to Australia. Oh, yeah. so you're pro yeah. cultural, cultural promotion? Yeah. Look at okay. that. Yeah. Can I have the whole package? <laughs> um, How are conventions in Colombia versus conventions here in the U.S.? Well, actually, the main thing I think is the heat. I think over there is only the, the main thing I find it because people is really nice and the costumes are really really nice and oh my god the performers really amazing you had no idea how hardcore they were really amazing so i really need to go central america oh you need to go it's i'm sorry sorry south america <laughs> columbia south america <laughs> She's so adorable. <laughs> I was inspired by the, the steampunk genre, so I wanted to come up with something that's unique and different. So I came up with a hamster-powered flying machine. It's called Mitch, a moderately intelligent trained caged hamster. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at it. There we go. And here he is. He's not. Well, he's kind of moving. He's kind of moving a little bit. Uh, okay, so Vince, you're the main guy behind Cospix? I am the founder of Cospix, and uh, we run a social media, social networking website for cosplayers and photographers. And so right now we're running the, uh, the official photo studio for Anime Expo 2015. Awesome. How has it been so far, the last few days? Busy, busy, busy. We've had a line from the time we open till the time we close. Like right now, we're in the process of capping the line, and we still have um, uh, just shy of an hour until closing. Why not? So this is a sushi sushi noodle stand. Yeah. Happy hour. <laughs> ID required. Uh, okay. What made you decide to do a sushi and noodle station? My hunger. Your hunger? Yeah. Literally, it was the day before Halloween. My mom was throwing out some shoe boxes and I got really hungry and I thought why not a sushi bar and it actually turned out really well. I didn't invest anything into this. Oh, this is all basically like re recycled. Yeah, this like is what? a recycled cosplay, yeah. I've got mixes of like people laughing. I've gotten a couple thinking that I was actually selling sushi and then people who that just thought it was just really cute and then they're taking pictures of me anyway. Hey, space tennis, can I get a picture with y'all? How has the reaction been so far? So far, this is the first time I've cosplayed, and it's been phenomenal. I didn't expect the attention I'm, gonna, I'm getting right now. Crazy. Was it as crazy as you thought it would be? This was the second year coming, so I knew it was going to be just as crazy as before. And who made these? I made it. You did? Uh, yeah, my daughter and I made this. She's meow. watching the Batman animated series, so I was like, oh, I feel like doing Poison Ivy sometimes, so I, made, I drew like a gender bend design, and then um, these are all sculpted in, in Shabbat clay and molded in silicone, and these are cast in polyfilm, and then I just glued leaves onto lycra for the bodysuit, and these are just armature wire with latex and paper towel, yeah. Um, but there's like a lot of fanfics for Tim Drake dressed up in Catwoman's outfit, so that's how I kind of based all of this. Uh, yeah, I started going to conventions in the Southern California area about a year and a half ago. Okay. And so this is the first time that I've been able to go to Anime Expo. Awesome. What was your first convention? 
uh, San Diego Comic Con. You went to big a super one. big one. Yeah. So you can easily manage this convention. Yeah. This is no problem. Yeah, but it's still, I don't know, there's, there's a really cool, uh, I kind of like how this is a little bit more laid back than San Diego. I see someone do this live in person. <laughs> Tell me, reactions from people today has been... Oh, you're so cute. You're so sad. Yeah. Why don't you smile? <laughs> I didn't really expect anything. Is this actually my first time cosplaying? This is your first time cosplay? Yeah. I was trying to find a character that fit me well, so she was the first one that I really like wanted to cosplay. Awesome. How come he's not cosplaying? He, he's a closeted nerd. You're a closeted nerd? Yeah. That's what she's telling me. She doesn't want to show his power, true power level. <laughs> Full on nerd. That's the way to go. Awesome. <laughs>